Country music's favorite icon, Dolly Parton, was born January 19, 1946, in the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. Her family was poor, really poor. The no heat, no electricity, no indoor plumbing, no running water kind of poor. The only somewhat modern thing they had was a battery-powered radio. So young Dolly fell in love with the music she heard, writing songs when she was just a toddler and getting her first guitar when she was eight. When she was 15, she signed on as a staff songwriter for a publishing company, then landed a deal with Mercury Records, where she recorded a single, which flopped. So she went home to finish high school, the first in her family of 12 children to graduate. The day after she graduated, she took a bus right back to Nashville. Dolly wasn't giving up so easily. To support herself, she worked several jobs. She was a receptionist at a neon sign company, a waitress, and a singer on a local early morning TV program. In the 1960s, Dolly was still building up the music part of her resume. She became a staff writer at Combine Music, earning $50 a week. But her big break was the Porter Wagner Show, where Dolly Parton overshadowed the namesake host and developed her own little fan base. She achieved 10 solo number one hits. The namesake host had none. But despite her stardom, she was still making the same union pay as the band members, $200 to $350 per concert. After many years working with Porter Wagner, she left the show, starting her career as a solo artist. She wrote a song you probably heard of, which was inspired by her departure from Wagner. And I will always love you. That song ended up being one of her biggest hits. It was re-recorded by several artists, including Whitney Houston in 1992, whose rendition went on to earn Dolly $10 million that year alone in royalties. When she left the show, she wisely formed her own publishing company, and to this day maintains ownership of all her songs. In the next few years as a solo artist, her concert booking fees increased fivefold. She was earning $100,000 a year, almost double her show salary. Throughout the next few decades, Pardon accomplished what most would do in a lifetime, as she evolved from country music writer and singer to full-on pop star, then dabbled in bluegrass, her extensive list of credits include acting, writing, oh, and she happens to be godmother to Miley Cyrus. Outside of the music, she's capitalized on her country charm, opening Dollywood in 1986 and Dollywood Splash Country in 2001, followed by Dollywood's Dream More Resort and Spa in 2015. She created Imagination Library, an organization that has donated more than 150 million free books to children. She also more recently made headlines when it was revealed her $1 million donation to COVID research helped fund the Moderna vaccine. Crazy to think that the same little girl who listened to an old radio in a one-room house would end up one of the most prolific singer-songwriters in the world, paving the way for so many others to follow in her diamond high-heeled footsteps.